Hi guys, today I bring you the delicious way that I prepare Dominican cake. I have seen so many different videos and I have received the best tricks and tips to get the best batter possible. And here I'm showing you my results. Do you want to know how I do it? Come and hazlo con su. The ingredients and quantities will be listed in the description box. We'll start by beating one pound of butter at medium speed or speed number six for about 40 to 45 minutes. The butter needs to be at room temperature but still firm. And while this beats, we will prepare the other ingredients. We'll grate half a tablespoon of orange, lemon, or lime peel. I prefer lemon because it's less sour, but you could use whatever you have. We'll also weight one pound of white sugar, which is about two cups, and also weight one pound of flour. I personally use 10 ounces of all-purpose flour and six ounces of cake flour, but you can combine to your preference. You can use all the flour all-purpose or half and half. It's been 10 minutes and we need to stop the machine and clean the bowl constantly to ensure that everything mixes well. We'll put it to beat again and we'll continue with the preparation. The one pound recipe uses 12 eggs. We will separate eight of these. We will use the eight yolks for the cake batter and the eight Egg whites will be served for the meringue. The other four, we are going to use the whole eggs. We will also need eight ounces of liquid. This time I am using six ounces of evaporated milk and two ounces of water. And you can substitute the milk for pineapple or orange juice. We also use three tablespoons of flavoring. I use one and a half tablespoons of white Dominican vanilla and one and a half tablespoons of Dominican rum. And do not worry about the alcohol because it does evaporate when it cooks. And again, we stop the machine and clean the bowl. We're going to mix the milk with the vanilla and rum. Then we have the sugar and the grated orange peel. We'll also mix one tablespoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking powder with the flour. And these we are going to sift. I personally sift it twice. Also note that for me, the grated orange, lemon, or lime peel is optional. I do not use it all the time, but it does give it like a special little touch to the batter. It's been 30 minutes and like I already been telling you, we're going to stop the machine and clean the bowl. And here you can realize that the butter is turning white and taking the texture that we need. Very white and creamy, looking a little bit like mayonnaise. And then it will be almost ready to start adding the rest of the ingredients. This step is totally optional, but I prepared parchment paper circles for the pans. Although I also use baking grease mixture, which I have a recipe on my channel and I will add the link in the description box. So it's totally up to you. After the butter has beaten for 40 minutes at speed number six and has a white, a smooth and very creamy texture, we will go down to speed four and add half of the sugar very slowly and then we'll let it beat for three more minutes. After the three minutes, we will add the other half of the sugar, also slowly, like drizzling, and then beat it for five minutes, still I spit four. We do this because if we add all the sugar at once, it will go down to the bottom and it will not mix well. Therefore, it will become liquid and this it will ruin the batter. During those five minutes, we will prepare two 10 inch pans. And as I told you before, I have the recipe of the baking grease mixture, which is excellent for the cakes and breads, not to stick to the pans. I cover them completely and I also put the parchment paper circles, but this is totally optional. I also use these flour nails and I grease them 
with the mixture as well. These help because being metal, they transmit heat to the center of the pans, helping the batter cook all the way through. I also use these wet baking strips, which help the cakes be flatter. At this point, we will add the grated orange peel. In this case, for me, it is totally optional, like I said before, but it does give it a very special touch of flavor to the cake batter. And after this, we will add the eight egg yolks. We will add them one at a time, waiting around 30 to 40 seconds before adding the next yolk. This gives it a chance to get incorporated well to the batter. Then after adding the eight yolks, we will beat for two full minutes. It's still a speed number four before starting to add the whole eggs. Now we are going to add three of the four eggs. We are going to add one egg and we're going to continue to beat a speed four for a full minute before adding the next egg. And as I have said before, we're going to stop the machine and clean it to make sure that everything mixes well. Then we're going to add the second egg and again beat for one full minute. Once we add the third egg, we will beat for two full minutes. At this point, the batter is a little bit more liquid and we need to ensure that the batter doesn't curdle, And that's why we beat for two full minutes. We will stop and clean the machine. After the two minutes, we will add the fourth and last egg and let it mix for five more minutes. It's still a speed four, not higher. We'll also preheat the oven to 330 degrees. Very frequently, we have to stop the machine and clean the bowl. We are going to add the flour mixture, which we already sifted, and the milk mixture. We will lower the speed at one or a steer and add more or less half the flour and then we'll beat it for 30 seconds. After this, we will add half of the milk and beat it for a full minute. After we add the other half of the flour in three different parts, alternating with the liquid, starting and ending with flour, it's still a very low speed. And then after we finish adding all the flour, we will mix for a full minute and we'll raise it to a speed number two. Now our batter is now ready. Here we finish mixing a little bit more in a folding motion all the way from the bottom to make sure that nothing is stuck down there. And as you can tell, our batter is not watery. It is very creamy and is very delicious. We will divide the batter into the two 10 inch pans, trying to divide them as equally as you can. And when dividing the batter, the flour nails, uh, they move a little bit, just adjust it. And to make sure that the pans have the same amount of batter possible, I weigh them. To remove all the air bubbles, we tap it on the counter. And I also put the baking strips that I already had soaking on the pans. And we will lower the oven temperature to 325 degrees. We put the um, cake pans to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. Around 40 minutes passed and I checked my cakes and they still needed a little bit more time so I added three more minutes. You know when your cakes are ready because the cake separates from the pans as you can see here and when you touch it, it bounces back. It does not leave a mark. 
When I take them out of the oven, I put them on a cookie rack and let them cool for five minutes. I put a cooling rack on top and flip it. And to remove the pans, you realize how easy it comes out. That's because I use my baking grease. It really does not stick to the pans. But because I use the wax paper just as a precaution, but it's really not needed at all. You can let the cakes cool a little bit more. I cover them again with the pans. I just remove the flower nails and I let them cool until they are ready to decorate. I am showing you here the best way that I have learned to make the delicious Dominican cake. I am not a pastry chef or baker at all, but when I moved to Texas from New York City, one of the things that I missed most was cakes, and I did not know anybody who made them in my area. So I took on the task of learning how to bake, which I love, and I have taken the best tips and tricks from different bakers, and I have come to achieve this delicious way of making them. The batter is very consistent and juicy, and does not dry it out and everyone really loves them i hope that you try it and that you like it too oh i'm sorry because i am enjoying this delicious cake in front of you mm, yum yum you want some if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share it if you have not done so subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to be notified every time i upload a new video also follow me on my social media of Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat at Aslo Now you know how I do it. Bye.